Here we have a Caterpillar 953B track loader. It was made by NZG. Uh, it's got stamped underneath 1981 to 1993, which I believe is the production run for the 953B model. I'm not 100% not on that because uh, the C models I thought were introduced later than 1993, but I could be wrong. Uh, overall, it's a nice model. It's pretty basic. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of detail. There's pretty much nothing inside the cab. It's just the seat. The undercarriage is terrible. I mean, well, it's not terrible. It's it's very basic. It's got the there's goofy black rubber tracks. I I don't think they look good. Uh, the model is dusty from having been on display. It sat on shelf for quite a while, but it does have the box. It does not have the tag. Uh, everything that I always thought was weird was there's no corner teeth on these buckets. Uh, I don't know why they would have cast the teeth into the bucket, but not the corners. Uh, it's just it's it's always made it look incomplete to me, and and kind of goofy. Uh, I have seen where people have taken the basically the complete undercarriage which you can just kind of unscrew here take the complete undercarriage from one of the first gear uh, international 175 track loaders or you could do the TD15 also I, I don't see why that wouldn't work uh, and basically paint it caterpillar yellow and, and put it on the 953 and it, it makes it look like a whole new machine and people have also done switched out the buckets too uh, you can take the uh, the four in one bucket off the 175 and put it on here. Although you do have to uh, do a little finagling because you got to basically come up with some way to create the the bracket for the Z bar because that's not on the 175. They have a different loader linkage, but it can be done. And like I said, you can find them on the internet, and they they look very they look excellent. It, it completely changes the 953. It makes it look like such a better model, but overall, it's not a bad little, uh, not a bad little loader. Very simple. Anyway, thanks for watching.